I mean, first of all, I guess let's 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 get straight to it. It's part of the Talk Band Stop campaign. Tell us a little bit about that and why it means so much to to you. Well, obviously, it's, it's worldwide that I've had problems with gambling, um, big problems as well, um, especially because I was a high-profile footballer. It was out in the press a lot more. And I just, in a way, I wish that there was a talk stop ban campaign around when, when I was playing, um, when I first had the problem in um, 2007, 2008, I think it was. Um, if the problem was around then, then I'm pretty sure that I would have stopped gambling a lot earlier than, than what I did. Um, I just think it's a great campaign that the guys have actually come together and done a 12 month pilot and it, it's free support as well. It's, it's trying to help people um, in a way, trying to overcome the power, what you kind of control because, and especially because there's a pandemic as well, it, it makes things a lot harder. Um, a lot more people are, are bored. Um, you've got a lot of free time. So you need to, you need to try and, think about other things rather than gambling as such. Only a year ago, it was the anniversary dinner for Sporting Chance um, over in Manchester. And I, was, I had some time with Tony Adams and we were talking about, well, he said that the football's dealing with a gambling epidemic. Um, I saw the figures that the PFA released about the number of players that are dealing with it. I just, do you think enough is done for footballers? As we've seen, there's, this is this campaign can obviously help footballers, but as we've said, it's very fertile ground for that particular profession. No, I don't, I don't think there's enough help. Now, how can you help players when you have... <laughs> look, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting, but probably 50% of the Premier League clubs are all sponsored by gambling, by gambling companies. Now, you, you watch a football match on, on Sky, you watch it on BT, whatever, during half-time, what comes on first straight away? It's a gambling ad. Who's going to score the next goal? Now, how can that help footballers? It's, it's impossible. Now, I know the FA are trying to put a big clamp down saying that professional footballers aren't allowed to bet on any football at all, but look, I, I know myself, I know other players still bet. They get somebody else to do it. So you, you can't stop it. It's impossible. Now, mm. the only way it's going to stop is if people go into clubs and they're talking to the younger generation because it's the younger generation that is the next set of kids that are, are going to be seeing this. They're going to be, they're the ones that are going to have the problem. Yeah. You've got older players that have got problems, but we've got to look at the next generation of kids, because if you, if you stop the next generation, then it'll gradually start reducing the amount of, of footballers and sportsmen that are, that are gambling. But look, I, I don't think enough's getting done and look, you, you try and stop the gambling but look the main thing for me is all the sponsorship boards and all the betting companies all over are splashed all over the football shirts and just finally it, it's obviously a, a stranger Christmas a more difficult isolated Christmas than many people have ever, ever had to deal with it's a time where addiction can be even more problematic I, I guess have you got any what message would you have to people that You've stood in the shoes. I, look, I just, I just think people have to be strong. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I've proved it. Other people have proved it. Now, this is a great campaign, the Talk Ban Stop campaign. It's, it's not hard now. It's, it's out there. People can pick up the phone. It's a national hotline number. You can, you can call it. You can speak to people. And you've got, like I said before, you've got self-exclusion. You've got software. And the most important thing is, if you have a problem, you've got to speak about it because at the end of the day, everybody's here to help you. Everybody that has addictions need help. And people don't realise what people have problems uh, when people have problems. And look, don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid about because at the end of the day, there's light at the end of the tunnel.